Hi, I'm Star Trek Online's executive producer, Steve Ricosa, and I'm here to talk about the upcoming console release for Star Trek Online for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Star Trek Online is a full-scale, free-to-play MMO taken straight from the TV series and movies. With the extremely rich universe of Star Trek, we're able to bring hundreds of storylines from Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, and more. Every player is able to have a custom Star Trek experience as the captain of their own adventure in the Star Trek universe. With Star Trek Online coming to console, you're getting content from 11 seasons and two major expansions worth of story arcs, featuring actors playing their characters straight from the show like Seven of Nine, Worf, The Doctor, Harry Kim, Lita, Tuvok, and many, many more. The difference that makes STO special is that it's an MMO designed from day one to feature both space and ground combat, essentially providing the gameplay from two separate games in one awesome package. One of the biggest challenges we faced when creating Star Trek Online for console was the control scheme. We had to figure out how to get a 72 key keyboard onto a 16 button controller, which was definitely no small task. We spent weeks figuring out a control layout that felt smooth, interactive, and gave players easy access to all of the abilities in the PC version of the game. We came across a control scheme that the team loved, and we spent months iterating our final layout to make it feel completely natural to fly a starship or lead an away team on a controller. Our most significant innovation for gameplay involves using our new command wheel to quickly and easily select powers from a range of options. These abilities can be mapped to the face buttons for instant availability. Finally, you can set nearly anything in these wheels to a smart auto-fire system to help you optimize the uptime of your abilities. These three features combine to provide you with a wide variety of strategic and tactical options for captains across the spectrum of skill ranges. The next thing we told ourselves was, if we're going to be on Xbox One, if we're going to be on PlayStation 4, we have to look like we belong on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Our core technology team brought us HDR lighting, clustered forward rendering, and light probes to give our artists the tools to make a complete relighting pass on the entire game. We feel the results truly make us look like we belong on the current generation of hardware. The last thing we decided to do was a complete overhaul of the UI. I know that as a console player, I find it awkward when I play a PC port with a UI that assumes I have a keyboard and mouse. We literally threw the entire UI away and rebuilt it from scratch, purpose-built to be optimized for controller play. These three changes are the major pillars of this port, but we've made countless updates that will make the game accessible and fun while still providing the full Star Trek Online experience. Players will get six years worth of fantastic Star Trek Online updates right at launch, including two expansions and 11 seasonal updates. Just like the PC version, the game is free to download, free to play, no subscriptions, and all of our content updates are 100% free. All you have to do to have an amazing adventure in the Star Trek universe is show up and have fun. Star Trek Online will be available on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One in the fall of 2016. See you in the final frontier.